Hello my lovely friends, it's been such a long time since I've spoken to you um, and I've really missed it so um, although I'm not really quite well enough to be able to do podcasts fully at the moment I wanted to just get a little video together, um, sort of vlog style really um, if I can work out how to use the editing software um, which I really really need to do so excuse the appearance um, things aren't looking that great at the moment health wise for me um, so yeah some days an effort is hard to make but um, here I am nevertheless I've been I'm sorry I think I was holding that wonky it's gonna take a little while to get used to doing this but um, yeah I've been really quite ill with my fibromyalgia um, for some months now um, not being able to work and struggling to get on with the basic stuff of life so uh, yeah it's been it's been a bit of a struggle, but um, thankfully I've been able to carry on crafting, uh, which has kept me sane, really. Um, I don't think, yeah, I want to be able to cope without that. So, uh, uh, so I just thought I'd pop in and say a little hello, and hopefully I might be able to do more vloggy style things in the future, which would be really nice, because I'm enjoying watching vlogs at the moment. Um, I've got a cat on my knee who is uh, getting her claws which are very sharp, stuck in the Christmas tree skirt I'm currently crocheting on. So I'll flip this camera around and then I'll give you a little uh, a little look at what's going on with this project um, and hopefully get some more footage throughout the day to share with you a little bit of what life's looking like at Green Lambkin's home at the moment. See you in a bit. Right, back again. Here is the Christmas tree skirt. Now, I showed this on the podcast it might have been the last one I made actually um a little while ago uh, but well before Christmas but um I've made a lot of progress on this I'm trying to get this done and put away so that it's all ready to get out um so yes I'm very near to getting to the edging part of this it's really quite huge as you can see um my Christmas tree is very tall but not very um wide it's quite a narrow thin one so i'm hoping this will sh shortly be wide enough and i've got all these ends um to work in and, and they're at both sides because you work just on the right side of the work but i need to put an edging all down along this here edge and the other one and put some buttonholes or fastenings uh, in there as well so i think i'm just going to crochet over all these edges um and then trim the ends off yeah, and then I'm going to put um, a white sort of pom-pom snowball-y kind of border around the edge and then crochet some sparkly white snowflakes to stitch on just to peek out from underneath the tree, which I think will look quite nice. So that's where I am with that. And um, I'll show you some of the other projects I've been working on in a little while. Okay. Here is a little bit of a better view of the um, Christmas tree skirt I've been working on. Um, so it's a chevron one, like a starburst, very similar to one of those um, star blankets that have been very popular. Uh, now I can't remember where the, uh, the pattern, I found the pattern through Pinterest and I can't remember the name of the designer just off the top of my head but what I will do is um, 
I will find it out and tell you later. But it was free and I think it's fantastic. Now looking at it laid out on my table, which is not a small dining table, I'm thinking that when I finish, I'm halfway around the thing with this purple row. Uh, and I think after that, because I'm planning on doing just a double crochet round in the red again, um, and then I think after that, then it'll, and then the white pom-poms on the edge, which will stick out a little bit like that. You know, I think by the time I've done that, it's going to be really wide. So, yeah, you can see how many, <laughs> how many ends I've got to cover there. But that's okay. I think I can and capture most of those in a, in a row of double crochet. So, uh, yeah, no problem. I just moder uh, modified the pattern slightly because um, with this edge, the way you start here, um, it was originally just, just here was the beginning so you just had this tiny little bit of pink and it was quite a wide aperture for the center of the tree stem um which i thought it will move around quite a lot and it would probably annoy me um so i went back and i've just picked up along the top edge of that crochet that chain and uh, i did a couple of rows of dcs with um, english dcs they're singles in american terminology i think and did some rapid decreases just to make that hole a bit smaller. And I'm actually glad I like the fact that there's a bit more pink there as well now. And I love the way these first couple of rounds look with the laciness. I know I won't see very much of that because our tree, the uh, the branches come really close. It's probably going to be quite like that, you know, so you will only see little glimpses of that. But I'm actually really pleased. I'm glad I laid it out to show you like this because it's made me realise just how huge it is. And I don't want it to be one of these that spreads right out from the tree and sort of carries on for ages. I just wanted something to finish it off. And I've wanted to do this for years, so finally getting around to finishing that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, right, well, there's a lot to update you with in terms of knitting and crochet. I've been crafting quite a bit, as you can imagine, but I thought I'd just show you a few of the projects that I've been working on. Um, since Christmas. I mean, there's too many really to share all of what I've done. Some of it's already gone to other people. But um, yeah, these are these are a pair of socks that I test knit for myself to see how the yarn looks and I'm really happy with them. So this is a sock set that I've created called um, The Halloween Feast and it's it's inspired by the Halloween feast scene in the first Harry Potter film, The Philosopher's Stone. Um, where the where the Halloween feast tables are all set with these delicious sweeties and pumpkins and things, and this is a set on sparkle base with a hundred gram main skein and a twenty gram mini for the socks. So I think there's there's one left of those in the Etsy shop at the moment. Um, yes, I'm really happy with those. I will wear them at some point, but. Um, for the time being, they're just being kept pristine. And then also at the same time, oh, don't look at those, they're pretty for someone. Well, actually they're part of the Luli Advent Christmas swap. It's my third swap partners um, packages, which I'm just getting ready to parcel up. Now these are um, a pair of socks that I, I treated myself to a sock set. It's always oh, looking a bit yellowier than it really is, but this is, um, which fiber company or which fiber co and it was a sock set again with the um gorgeous mustardy gold contrast and then this um purpley stripey pinky goldy speckledy goodness which micro striped for the main color and it's called uh, it's part it's a honey duke's sock um i can't remember what she called it like where there's various different socks, yarns that all fit into the same theme, you know what I mean? Uh, and it's called Chocolate Frog. So I knitted those for myself. And then two other pairs of socks I've knitted myself this year are these ones, which are West Yorkshire Spinners in the Rum Paradise colour with contrasting, um, I can't remember what these two contrasting colours are actually called, but they're part of the Sweet Shop range. So yes. There's those. 
and there are these which are the opal sweet and spicy these last two pairs that I'm showing you have both been worn so that's why they look a bit more crinkled because they've been washed and whatnot but this is some yarn I've been coveting for ages I managed to get from a lovely lady in a de stash and then it's got some of the West Yorkshire spinners I think that's called the spearmint colourway for the heels and toes and I love the way that contrasts with the, the main colour so that's those socks and then also um, I, I like to try and knit both kids a pair of socks for their birthdays so these are Cosmo's socks for his birthday and this is the BFL base uh, on my Green Lambkin yarn and uh, it's just got a twisted like a twisted um, like um, God, what do you call it twisted stitch um, cable detail running down it and one on the outside of the other side uh, and that's just a one off one of a kind colourway that I dyed for for him for his birthday socks and I think that's quite cute and then the ones that I did for Ivy are these ones and they're the peachy keen jelly bean colourway uh, again green lambkin yarn and these are the in bloom socks I test knitted these for Hannah of uh, Yarnia Designs and um, yeah she wanted me to do the smallest size so I thought right well they'll be perfect for Ivy look how long they look Ivy my daughter is nine and she's got an adult size seven foot and they've got this really pretty lace detail down the ankle and then this one which sort of looks heart sort of love hearty going down the outside and then the other sock is the same. Uh, I knitted a pair of socks for my dad for his birthday as well. And then I've done a shawl. Now this shawl is for Ivy for Christmas. And it's the, um, the Hogwarts Express shawl. It's uh, obviously double that size. But I'm just showing you like this for ease. Um, which is about this pattern's available on Ravelry, and the yarn is Green Lambkin, and this is uh, like a shawl set that I've devised, and it's actually Christmas colourways. This one is called Cast a Christmas Spell. It's another Harry Potter themed colourway, and this one is Snowy Owl. And I'm going to be putting some of these sets together to go into the shop nearer to Christmas. And it's got this really cute sort of tooth, like a saw edged. Um, applied border and then the last thing I bought to show you I want to make one of these for myself uh, and then the last thing I've bought to show you is a hat that I've just finished for COS and it's the um, the Grow With Me ear flap hat which is available on Ravelry and I've done the eye cord I just need to decide whether I'm going to put a pom pom on or not but the texture of this hat is absolutely gorgeous I love it and I'm now doing him a pair of fingerless mitts to go with it and then I need to do some fingerless mitts for Ivy to go with her shawl for Christmas so that's a few of my um, recently or more recently finished projects oh, I hope you like them well it's coming towards the end of the day I'm tired very Johnny's just making some tea and I think it'll be bedtime for the kids shortly followed by bedtime for me which is the way of things at the moment so uh, I'll sign off here for now but I've really enjoyed sharing a few bits with you all again and I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, this little um, vlog style video um, if you do I'll hopefully make some more um, and hopefully find the energy to gather myself properly and get a podcast done very soon as well anyway um i hope to speak to you all again very soon and i hope you're all having lovely summers and getting lots of nice crafting done okay see you soon bye friends